Okay, so I just got in from Woolies and I thought I would do a grocery shop since I've never done it in the house. It's my home now and I can let you guys in on what I'm buying, um, mainly for myself and well for my, me and my husband. We eat a lot of fruit. So that's where we are starting. This wasn't a big um, grocery spend. This was this Thursday, so it's more like a midweek um, pick me up on stuff that we've run out on. We eat a lot of fruit and we, yeah, we eat a lot of fruit. So I was craving this tonight. This, I just want this uh, fruit salad, which I can't wait to dig into. Um, lay everything out first and then we can get into it right one thing i'm so happy is about is i've started remembering my grocery bags oh the anger that would roll through me whenever i would forget grocery bags in the car i can't even describe it to you but now I'm remembering so I'm very happy about that um, so we're stocking up on a lot of the things that I have run out of um, like I said we go through fruit quite a bit so I love mangoes I love grapes this I can finish in three days on my own I just picked this up for dessert for myself for tonight I'm just craving a little fruit salad, some soft citrus, avocado, chicken nuggets for midnight snacks, and bananas, and then some orange juice, apple juice, and some marinade because I don't have anything for my chicken. And then because I'm eating so much chicken, I picked up some mints i don't really like red meat like that i'm also very lazy to make a stew so i only eat a stew if um i'm with my mom she's made pap or stew and you know so that's the only time i'm really eating red meat i'm sweating guys my cardigan is so warm i'm wearing my gym clothes and I just threw on this cardigan to hide the fact that I'm wearing a sports bra. And then I picked up this um, sea seeded whole wheat brown bread. I was eating this week the oats and honey white bread. But I felt like I could do better than that. So I'm going to try this white bread for my avocado toast in the morning. Um, put my avocado my feta cheese and black pepper, red onion, and then I picked up some chicken sausage, chicken bangers. Um, I'm really enjoying the chicken bangers. Um, I'm not really doing pork anymore for some time. Um, I'm not really liking bacon, so I don't know. I think it's just a phase. Um, and the chicken sausage is doing it for me. And it's more favored, I think, um, as opposed to a, a beef sausage or a pork banger and stuff. So that is what I've been chowing. So that's my little grocery shop. <laughs> um, I'm alone this evening. Um, husband went to town. To run an errand so i'm just gonna pack all the stuff away one of my favorite things to do is to organize the fridge i don't know whenever i buy new groceries it's an excuse for me to reorganize things and 
put it the way I like. Um, we buy a lot of these as well. I didn't buy this on this shopping trip because we still have quite a bit, which is um, Rock Shandy from Willie's and Ginger Beer. I drink the I drink the Rock Shandy. Husband drinks the sugar-free Ginger Beer. It's just a nice summer cool down drink when they're like super cold out out of the fridge and you down it there's no alcohol so you don't feel any type of way and they're just really nice summer thirst quenches honestly so that's what we've been buying <laughs> Half of them gone in the morning. By Saturday, there will be none. I think I've had, I think I have like one from this packet. All I'm going to do this evening is, um, I really want to really chow those fruits down. Um, drink this rock shandy, find something to watch on the telly, and take a shower and go to bed. So, yeah. Just got back from our morning walk. Um, um I want to make some breakfast for myself and take a shower. I want to make our toast with my chicken sausage. <sighs> okay, I'll catch you guys when I know what's going on. Thirty 
35. It feels like 40. It's so hot. And I feel like there's no air conditioning here. It's just cooler because we're not sitting outside. So. We're in Half Bay and that's all I can add. So hot. I'm gonna have my braids in here. That's not a cute scenario. Hey guys, today's Wednesday and I hope I have a busy day ahead of me. I have two events today, one all the way in Stellenbosch, so I need to leave right now. Um, and then I have an event at the Ark for a fragrance. So after all of that, I need to come back home and edit this vlog. So hopefully it's a successful day of vlogging um, and you guys enjoy this day. Um, I don't know, my makeup looks a bit patchy. I'm trying to find my got to be. Oh, there it is. I need to spray some got to be. Is there anything that works? Okay, guys, I need to finish just doing my touch ups and I'll see you on the way. Hey, guys. So I'm on route. I've been driving for such a long time. I have 16 minutes left to go out of a. Right onto R44. I've drank so much water that I need 
guys, so I'm at Babylon Store. Uh, <laughs> um, I finally arrived after that hellish walk in the heat. And we are having some delicious food, fresh salads, bread, salamis, meats. to the waterfront for an ARC event at the ARC store for a fragrance. I was very very late on my way back from the poetry event. My car had a nail so my tire pressure warnings were all coming on and I had to stop at the engine and see if they could put in a plug. My car has run flat but the last time I had this problem, the tire pressure kept dropping. Every time I'd fill it up, it kept dropping. So I asked this garage if they could, um, if I could buy some plugs and they could plug it for me. And they said that the last time they plugged someone's car, the tires burst while the person was driving and they were now in a lawsuit. So I was just like, that makes me nervous because. I don't want to do it right, like why did the whole tire burst? So anyway, I left it because the car has run flat, so we just pumped it up with air and I drove all the way successfully to town. I don't have a spare tire, so yeah. So that made me an hour late for that event. And by that time, it had pretty much died down. The speakers had already spoken. The presentation had been done. It was so embarrassing. Um, by the way, you can tell my makeup has melted off my face because Stellenbosch was so hot. But anyway, um, I want to edit my vlog right now. So I hope you enjoy. Better late than never. And I will see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.